Today we're going to show you how to log in, run sales, and do voids and refunds through the website TransactionExpress.com. First, you'll want to type in TransactionExpress.com into your URL bar. Once there, it'll take you to this page. On the right-hand side, it will ask you if you are an existing Transaction Express user. You want to click on Login here. This is your login page and you log in using the username and password that was emailed to you. It should be a big long number underscore admin and the password will be a random password. It will ask you to change it once you've logged in. Once you've logged in, it'll take you to your thank you for signing in page. This is the home page for Transaction Express. You'll have some options here. Your first option is sale. This is where you'll go to run your sales and your credit card transaction detail report. We'll get into that in just a moment. First, we're going to start with sales though, so click on sale. This is going to be where you run your actual cards through. So your payment type, you'll want to leave that a credit card unless it's a business card. If it's a business card or a corporate card, you'll want to change it to purchase card so you can fill in some additional information. The purchase order number, the ship to zip, and the tax amount. Otherwise, you can just leave it a credit card, and that's what we'll do today. Your transaction type indicator is how you receive this card. And you've got some options in there. E-commerce is over the internet, like in an email or via your shopping cart or something like that. Moto is a mail order telephone order, if you got it in the mail or over the phone. And retail is a face-to-face -face transaction. They're right there with you, you can see their card, you can hold it in your hands. Today we're going to pick retail. The account number is going to be the card number and today we're just going to type one in. The expiration date, of course, is the expiration date for the card. The amount is how much you would like to charge that card. And you need to do the dollars and the cents. So today we're going to do a dollar, so 1.00. The customer reference ID can be whatever you'd like it to be. If you have an invoice number, job number, customer number, whatever you'd like. You can include letters as well. You don't just have to do numbers. The CVV2 is the security code on the card. Do keep in mind, if you're taking American Express, it is four digits on the front. All the other cards are three on the back. The full name is the cardholder's full name, just how it appears on the card. The address line one is the house number or PO box number that that credit card statement is going to. All you need is the number part of it. All the others is just extra. So if it were 123 ABC Street, you only need to type in 123. Address line 2, city, and state are optional. If you'd like to fill in that information, you can, but you don't have to. The zip code is the same as the address line 1, the billing zip code for that car. The phone number and the email address are optional fields as well. But for right now, we're just going to click on Sale. Then it will take you to the transaction details, where it will tell you whether it approved or declined. Uh, my transaction today always declines, but normally there'll be green here that says whether or not it did approve. You'll have more options at the bottom. It'll give you the option to do a void to delete a transaction. It will give you the option to print out your receipts as well. But this is what a decline looks like. Next, we'll run an approved sale. So we'll click on New Transaction, and it will take us back to the Sale page. And then we'll click on Sale, and it will show you that the transaction was approved. Notice all the options that you have now. You can void the transaction, which will delete the transaction from your batch. You can view your receipt or print your receipt. And this is what the receipt will look like. And of course, you can print it from here as well and that's how you run a sale. If you ever need to get back to the start page, you can click on the Transaction Express logo at the top, and it will take you back to your thank you for signing in page. Now to do voids and refunds, you'll use your credit card transaction detail report. And you'll come into here, and it will give you a whole lot of options to help you find specific sales. That reference ID, the person's name, the card number, the amount you charged, and things like that. Those are all optional. The only thing that's required 
is for you to change the dates. It always defaults to yesterday, but you can do specific days, today, yesterday, the day before, or you can do a date range. And it's up to 62 days in the last 13 months. So you can do a weekly report or something like that. We're just going to pick today. And then submit. And then we're going to scroll down to the very bottom of the page. And it will show us the two transactions that we ran earlier today. It will show you the reference ID, the person's name, some of the card number, the date in which it happened, the status declined or approved. And on the far right hand side, it will say resubmit and void. Resubmit will take you back to the sale page where you can run that sale again. Notice how it pre-fills in all your information here. So you can run this card again by clicking on modify and submit or make any changes that you need to make. For right now though, we're going to go back. Next to our approved sale, it says void. Void is what it will show you if it is the same day. And that is how you will delete the transaction. You'll click on void. It'll take you back to the transaction details page. And then you'll click on void again. It will ask you if you're sure. Just say yes or no. If you say yes, it will tell you that the transaction successfully avoided and that the status will be updated to voided at this time. Do note this may take a couple of minutes to take effect in the reporting. Notice in the transaction details that it tells you that the transaction was successfully avoided, and you've lost some of your options here. If we go back into the credit card transaction detail report and change the date to today and submit, it will show you that our transaction was voided. And this will put the money back on the card the same day. Do note that if this transaction were run any day in the past, instead of void, it will say credit refund. In which case, you'll need to type in an amount to give back, and that will take a couple of days to show up in the customer's bank account. That's how you do sales, voids, and refunds through Transaction Express.